to know each other. There's uh, no family friend. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. You're Chloe's mum. Guilty. <laughs> It's actually looking for work, so if you have anything. Ah, planning on sticking around, are you? Long enough to need a job anyway. Mm, Summer Bay has a way of sucking you all in love. My family can vouch for that. Look, we don't have anything at the moment. We're fully staffed, but if anything comes up, I'll let you know. Thank you. Grab a seat. We'll bring the coffees over. Two flat whites, thanks, love. Table four, thanks. Oh, someone's in a chirpy mood. I had a really good time with Justin last night. Mm hmm. Dancing at the party. Oh, they're calling the dancing now, aren't they? <laughs> oh, window shopping now. They're thinking of making a move. Just having a look at the market. Has Christian found somewhere? I know he was looking. And obviously he and Tori are going to start living together sooner or later. I just don't know what their plans are now they're engaged. Things are changing. Christian still thinks he didn't do anything wrong. What did Lewis say? The same. He's adamant that he did the right thing. This is a nightmare. I can't have my new nurse and unit manager at lobby heads with a surgeon. What if something like this happens again? You won't. Well, we don't know that. I actually don't know what to do. I mean, I could call admin. See if we can swap with another department and get a new NAM instead of Lewis. You can't. He hasn't done anything wrong. Have you got a better solution? Because I don't have one. What is it you're not telling me? Especially Lewis or Christian. What is it? Lewis's wife died about two years ago in a car accident. What? Yeah, she was rushed to hospital, she made it through surgery, but there were complications and she regained consciousness. That's awful. I had no idea. Lewis had to make the decision to turn off life support. Poor guy. And what has it got to do with Christian? Oh my god. Was he the surgeon? Oh, yeah. Lewis believes he took unnecessary risks and Christian doesn't even remember him. Are you serious? There is no way they can work together. Lewis swore it wouldn't affect their working relationship. Well, it has. He really wants this job, Tori. He blames Christian for his wife's death. I think he just needs some time to work through it. I know what it's like to lose the love of your life. How grief affects you. Can you please just give him a chance? Hey, mate. Hey. You got a sec? Uh, want to have a chat about how the house building's going? Nothing the worse for Grace. So we've got the uh, real estate consultant, Susan McAllister, trying to find places for us. That's John's new business, eh? I'm sorry, mate. Can we chat about this later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that about? Nothing. Uh-huh. What's going on? So, uh, firstly, congratulations on the new position. Uh, thanks. Can't wait to officially start. Well, hopefully things will run a little bit more smoothly than they did today. Yeah, I hope so too. So, I spoke to Dr Green, and he admitted that he should not have spoken to you the way he did. So, I guess I need to know, moving forward, is working with him going to be a problem for you? Not if he doesn't drink on call. Is that all this was about? What else would it be? I just need to know that you trust the doctors in this hospital. Dr. Morgan, I don't have a problem with doctors. I've been friends with some. But even with them, my patients always come first. And so they should. But with us both being the heads in this department, we need to be on the same page. Of course. Okay. So if in the future you do have a problem with Dr. Green or with any of the other doctors, can you raise it with me first? I will. Well, if there's nothing else, I will see you out there. All right, great. Well, well, well. Fraternizing with the enemy, are we? Well, I went to see if Dean was home, and since he wasn't, I thought no point wasting a trip to the dark side without trying your coffee. How do you take it? Let's test your macchiato. You're on. Take a seat. <laughs> Hey, how's the shop going? A little bit 
sidetracked? Easy to do. I thought I'd introduce Mia to a few other business owners. One minute. Mm -hmm. Well, I am sure something will come up. We were just talking about going home, see if Nico and Chloe would surface, maybe grab some lunch. Have you got time for it? Sure, yeah, that sounds good. I'll just go back off here, go.